Good day. Today we're going to see how to display the name of our weapon in the bottom left corner. As you can see right now, it says none. I pick up the sniper. You have sniper. Pick up the shotgun. Say shotgun. And if you pick up the assault rifle, say assault rifle. So we're going to see step by step how to do this. The first step is naming each of our weapon. Going to open the assault rifle and under the weapon name, we're going to put assault rifle. For the shotgun, under weapon name, we're going to put shotgun. And same thing for the sniper, under weapon name, sniper. And we can save and compile all this. Now we can go to our first person character. And it's here that we're going to tell the game we have to display the name of the weapon on our screen. The first step, we're going to create the event dispatcher. So we're going to go down to event dispatcher. I'm going to call that a weapon name dispatcher. Click to add a new input and we're going to call that a weapon name. And now we're all good. We can compile this. So now we need also to do a little calculation to see which name we have to display. As you remember, the name is showing up from our weapon master class right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a little function. I'm going to call that get weapon name. And here we're just going to tell the game if we have a weapon in our hand, display this name. If we have nothing in our hand, display this. So it's going to be very, very simple. We're going to hold B in our keyboard just to do a branch. Plug that together. And we're going to take our as weapon. And we're going to plug that to the condition right here. Now, if it's true, we're going to display the name of the weapon. If it's false, we're going to display nothing. So we're going to search for a return node. And we can just copy that and paste it down here as well for false. The return node, we're going to do our output on this and it's going to be our weapon name. Make sure it's a text. Now we can take our reference to our weapon master class. And from the weapon master class, we're going to search for our variable weapon name, which is this one right here, right? For each of our weapon. Because remember, all those variables are from the weapon master class. So it's why we can access the name of each of weapon by using the weapon master class. So we're going to take the name and just plug it right there. So if we do have a weapon, it's going to display the name of the weapon that we have in our hand. And if we do not have a weapon, it's going to display nothing. Nothing will be none. And we're just going to compile that and save it. We're going to go back to our event graph. And now we just have to tell the game when to use the event dispatcher. So after picking up a weapon under our logic to give a weapon to the player, we are going to tell the game to call that event dispatcher. So we're going to take our weapon name dispatcher. We're going to call it. I'm going to plug that there. And now we can take our function right here. We'll take our function weapon name and plug it right there. However, you see it's doing this with the arrow. So make sure that you click, you click, you click per. So that way, when you put weapon name, it's just going to look like this. So it's look better. So we're going to do the same thing when we're dropping the weapon. So under drop weapon to the ground before destroying the actor, we're going to call once again our event dispatcher. So take the event dispatcher, plug it right there. Oops. And we're going to take our function. And we're going to plug it right there. And we can compile. So now every time we drop or pick up a weapon, it's going to call this function, which is going to say, do we have a weapon? If yes, display the name under the weapon master class for the weapon we have in our hand. And if we have nothing, it's going to display nothing. One more thing to do here in the first person character, we're going to go to even begin play. And on the event begin play, we're going to add a new pin, and this pin will be attached to our weapon name once again. So we're going to put our dispatcher, 
I'm going to plug it up there. And I'm going to take the function for our weapon name and plug it right there. The only reason why I'm doing this is that if you start the game with a weapon already, as soon as the game starts, even begin play will be called, which is going to verify that we have a weapon in our hand. If we do, it's going to display the name. If we have nothing, it's going to display none. I'm going to compile this and we're going to our widget blueprint. I'm going to search for text. I'm going to take a text, place the text wherever you want it. I'm going to take the text, make sure it's size to content. The text name will be weapon name text. And we're going to make sure it's a verbal because we want to be able to tell the game, hey, change this, depend of which gun we have in our hand. And we're going to make sure that we anchor that to the left bottom corner so it's always stay at the same location. I'm going to make sure that it's a little bit smaller because it's quite big. And the text that we're going to have, it's weapon name. It's just for us. It's not really important. You can leave that empty if you want to. But it's just going to tell me that, hey, here is the weapon name. We're going to compile this and we're going to go to the graph tab. In the graph tab, we're going to do exactly the same as here. So we're going to take the reference to our first person character. From our first person character, we're going to call. Actually, we're going to bind the weapon name. So we're going to take bind event to weapon name dispatcher. I'm going to plug those two together. I'm going to drag from event. I'm going to do a custom event. The custom event will be called weapon name. And now from that, we're going to be able to change the name. We're going to take the weapon name, uh, the weapon name text here. I'm going to drag that to a get. And from this, we're just going to drag and set text. I'm going to take the one here, set text for the widget. I'm going to plug that right there. And the text will be feed by this event, which is our weapon name. Plug it right there. And you can compile this. Now, technically, everything should work. So I'm going to take all of that, do a comment. I'm going to call that weapon name. And I'm going to go to my map, do play. As you can see here in the bottom corner, it's say none. And if I pick up a gun, sniper, it's a sniper, drop the sniper, none, shotgun, shotgun, drop that, and the assault rifle, assault rifle, then drop that. That's exactly what I wanted to show you, so we'll catch you on the next one.